So one of the essential elements done by a survey of thousands of people in the top 150 companies in the United States, the employees stated that one of the most important things is personal growth for themselves, right? Your people want to do better. Your people want to succeed. They want to do well. But you have to allow them to do so, which also means you have to allow them to fail. Right? Allow them to fail. Then help pick them up. Help pick them back up. Some people are self-motivated, but a lot of them are not. And even the highly self-motivated people need accountability, positive accountability, and they need people to help them grow. Right? And personal development can do that. All right. You know, perception is what drives results. So if your team perceives that you want them to improve, that you will help them improve, they will improve. Right? I just got done running a rack at, on delts. That means starting low, going really, really high, and coming down low, running as high as I could go. And uh, it's not necessarily because I enjoy the pain of doing that. It's because my perception drives my results. I perceive that I'm going to get better at what I'm doing, right? And I do have people that hold me accountable for that. I don't have a workout partner. <laughs> I can't get anybody up that early in the morning. <laughs> but by the way, continual education for your team, continual self-improvement will help drive continual total quality management. And they also want to find a good work-life balance. And that's what a lot of us are lacking these days, especially entrepreneurs. <laughs> Right, work-life balance. What's that? I, don't know. I do have a blueprint that I can send you if you want to DM me. That'll, that'll help you find that. For we all need a blueprint in life, right? We we have a blueprint for our house. We spend a ton of money for. Uh, why wouldn't we have one for our lives? Hmm. I don't know. Some people find a way. Some people find a way to do that. But you have to work, and you have to continually improve. And that's what this one's all about. Number 13 of Edward Demings. Total quality management. Self-improvement for yourself and your team. I can't say that enough. Continual self-improvement. And there's many ways to do that. Uh, but you have to coach them. You can't just manage them. You can't just tell them what to do. You need to coach them. Coach them up. Upskill them continually support them and that shows true care for your team and they'll be a lot more engaged than when you're not that's the honest truth it takes time and effort on your part but it's worth it it is worth it let's all try to find a happy work-life balance and maintain it right Continual self-improvement, continual education. It's going to level up your entire company, your entire team, your, your family. All right. It's incredible because you're incredible. You don't need motivation, right? Because you were born of greatness for greatness. Now... I'm going to go out on the farm and see all the trees that fell on the fence line last night stormed. <laughs> Is that self-improvement? I don't know. It's work. And it's kind of fun, actually. So, go get your Uda life on. Have a wonderful day.